What's up, y'all? Travis Denning. I'm a Universal Music Group artist in Nashville, and I was born and raised in Warner Robins, Georgia. These are my essential pieces of gear on and off the road. This is my very original, very unique piece. It's a MacBook Air. I got this literally a couple weeks ago. I just love doing creative things, and whether that's singing, writing, playing guitar, or you know, designing merch pieces, even if they're in my head or something that actually will go on a t-shirt. I use Logic a lot to record you know, demos. They sound so bad, but they get the job done. And I love designing, you know, like like intro pieces for like our shows. So I live a lot here, um, and yeah, Photoshop, Logic, Facebook, does it all. These are my Sony wireless headphones. These were actually a gift from my mom, and I had no idea how. I mean, I use these every single day, uh, whether it's working out, uh, definitely on planes. Uh, you know, I always thought that you, you could have wireless or you could have noise canceling and I, I didn't know you could kind of have both and it worked pretty well. And as long as these have a great charge, I mean, they literally stay charged for a long time. I mean, the, the speakers do well, they sound great. And I mean, they completely cut you off from crying babies and loud conversations on early morning flights. And uh, they sound great. I love these. My main guitar right now on the road and has been for probably the past two years is one of my Les Pauls, specifically my Gold Top R7. The R7 is supposed to be a 57 Gold Top, like original spec, as close to the original as you can get. When I thought of a Les Paul, I thought of a Gold Top. And when I signed my record deal in 2017, I knew that that was gonna be my gift to myself, was finding just another Les Paul that just was as awesome as I could find. And I walked into a shop in Nashville. They had the gold top, the guitar that I wanted my whole life. I think my dad might have been more excited than I was that I finally had a Gibson Les Paul gold top. So that's my number one. I know that guitar like the back of my hand. I just love it. It sounds great and it's my number one. The main overdrive pedal that I use is my Hermata Zen Drive pedal. This is a pedal that is supposed to kind of clone or replicate what is known as the Dumble sound. They just have this great sustain and overdrive that I was kind of obsessed with. I really liked that sound in my super, super nerdy gear days. Uh, I, I'm still in them now. I just, you know, wear a Bass Pro hat now and uh, instead of a buzzed haircut in high school. But, um, you know, I really fell in love with that sound. And, and to me, that was Steve Ray Vaughan, and it was like John Mayer, Larry Carlton, Robin Ford, like this really unique sound. And as I did more research on how to replicate that sound without spending $40,000, I found all these pedals and all these, you know, people who said, this pedal is the closest thing to the sound that you can get if you use it with this amp and this and that. And the one that came up the most was the Hermita Zen Drive pedal. So I bought one and I've used it for 10 years. That is the cornerstone of, of my sound and I absolutely love uh, those pedals. I mean, incredible. And on top of the Zen Drive pedal, I've got a classic Tube Screamer. I mean, you cannot beat it. It cuts a little bit off the highs and a little bit off the lows and adds a lot of distortion. So if I have a solo or if I just need a little more edge or something on the top, I hit that on top of my Zen Drive pedal. And that, that's pretty much it. That, that's, that's my sound. I like to keep it simple. I feel like adding too many things just gets away from like the fun of guitar playing. I just want to work the volume knob and have fun and enjoy my time on stage. So I have two buttons and that's it. This is my Gibson J45. I bought this actually at lunch one day in Nashville. I was at Edley's Barbecue, shout out. And I walked across the street to a music store and walked in. They just happened to have a left-handed J45. I realized I kind of needed an upgrade in the acoustic department. And I bought it off the shelf. It was brand new, nothing crazy about it. And it just sounds fantastic. I love playing it. And it's been awesome. I love this guitar. It has literally been everywhere with me. If I've been on an airplane, 95% chance that it was on there with me. 
And it's awesome, it's scratched and nasty and disgusting and that's how I like to keep most of my guitars. You can catch me out uh, in the spring with Dustin Lynch on the State Country Tour. Appreciate y'all, my name is Travis Denning and uh, those are my essential pieces of gear. We'll see you soon.